Orioles is an indie rock band hailing from the UK. They have a spacey, disco-ish aesthetic. They have a cool blend of uh, space rock and pop and disco type stuff that I really quite dig. Disco Volador is their second album. I didn't hear their first one, but I'm quite happy to say that this is a, a, a strong sophomore release from a UK band. Lots of their songs are quite groovy, they have very infectious choruses, um, especially on the opening track as soon as that chorus hits. It is so goddamn catchy. They very much remind me of the band I mentioned last year in my underrated albums of the year video, uh, International Teachers of Pop, where they're taking this um, aesthetics taken from like the 80s, a bit of the 90s too, kind of modernizing it a little bit, adding a bit of their own flair, and uh, it works really well for some really catchy indie pop rock music. Bobby's Second World has a bit of that DFA Records type flair that was really cool in the 2000s from, you know, bands like LCD Sound System, a bit of Hot Chip in there too, that synth pop heavy band um, Holy Ghost bit of that in there for good measure. And a lot of the tracks on the album actually just continue to follow this type of sound and there's nothing really wrong with that. Um, there's just not a great deal to say about each individual track, I suppose. Um, the thing I, th I would say about this album though is that it does get a bit samey, I must admit. A couple of tracks here and there um, offer something slightly different, like you might get a bit of more of a prominent bass, like on the track The Square Eyed Pick, or in the closing track, which is just this bubbly pop anthem, which actually might even be the best track on the whole thing. I do feel like this is the one track on the album where the personality just completely bursts out of its shell and you're just getting completely unapologetic disco pop, which obviously you're getting throughout the album, but I just feel like there's something about this track that feels way more vibrant than everything else on the whole album. Memoirs of Miso, though, is a really strong track actually as well, I think, uh, once again. They're just nailing that sound. Um, for a pretty small, relatively unknown band, I would say they've uh, really carved out like this niche for themselves, because well, yeah, you do get bands like Bombay Bicycle Club in the UK that are going for something a bit uh, dance-heavy, dance-inspired uh, with their music. They're not really doing it that well, to be honest. Whereas at least the Orioles have a cool approach to their music and also are doing it uh, in such a fun way that it's quite hard to say no to. The seventh Dynamic Goo track is probably one of the weaker ones in terms of the chorus, though, as I guess... Um, it may be taking the the spacey vibe a bit too literal. <laughs> uh, talking about the solar system and being dancers and stuff like that. It's a bit like, what are you on about? And whilst the flowers look has this uh, odd little spoken word bit at the end of the track, it doesn't ruin it. It's only like for like 15 seconds or something, but it does feel a bit out of place. But like, aside from those minor critiques, I would say this is uh, definitely worth your time. The vocals really are charming enough to carry the whole thing, to be honest, even if I would say there could be a little bit of variation here and there that would completely make this album uh, great from start to finish. But I will go 7 out of 10. I do think it is very enjoyable. You should definitely check it out if you haven't already. Um, hopefully you enjoy it and uh, let me know if you do check it out, what you think. Thank you for watching my review. And uh, goodbye.